<clears throat> Hi fellow colorists, here's a little, um, one of the little stamps from the page out of World from Wonders, World of Wonders, sorry, that I'm going to be colouring with some fine liners. I'm going to use, start off with um, Stack the Tri Plus um, in the mid green. I haven't got the numbers written on, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, this is meant just for... Um, everyone to, to um, have a go at. So just pick a, any of your markers that you use, just pick a kind of mid green color and then try and find one in a lighter green or you could even use a neon yellow or which I might use. Um, or actually you could just use yellow even. Right, so all I'm doing at first is I'm going over the black lines on the leaves and I'm not I'm not being really really nearly covered the petal then I'm not being really really careful um, as in it doesn't matter if you go over the line slightly because when you pull back and you see the effect of it all it won't yeah you won't notice that kind of thing so I'm literally I'm going to colour in all of that leaf bit that's overturned there in the, this mid green around the leaf. I think that's another leaf there. I'm going to assume it is anyway. Same shape. Around and about. I've put a few of the... Um, if you go to my Instagram, there's a few reels on there, like time-lapse reels of the other pictures. Now I'm going to go for a neon one. You could go for a lighter green. This is a neon yellow. Again, state the Tri Plus. And I'm just going to colour over. I'm basically filling the leaf. I'm actually, once I've done this and filled it in, I'm going to go back with the green pen, a green fine liner, and do a few dots. And I'm doing this bit first because when I apply the dots then with the green on top of this, they'll just spread slightly more. So be a little bit softer because you're applying a fine liner on top of a fine liner as opposed to a fine liner directly just onto the paper. So I've got four, in the, on this page, there's actually 16 little stamps on this page in um, Joanna's World of Wonders, which is lovely. So I'm now going back to the this green that we were using. Um, I'm just going to dot just near the edge. So where the leaf is closest to the petals, I'm just going to do a few dots on each of the, each of the leaves. Um, yeah, the 16, so I've done, I've got four left that I will do a YouTube for each one, just using the fine liners, and I've done reels for all the others, as I said, up on my IG, which you can go and look at. Really doesn't take that long to do. So there's the leaves. Right, now I can do the flowers. Um, probably a nice yellow, maybe. Maybe a, a, a um, orangey, orangey yellow. Yeah, let's go orangey yellow. So I'm going to go in with the orange first, just the orange stadler. I'm going to just circle around the centre of the flower and then just go over and just colour ever so slightly out from the centre and go over the black line in the middle of each petal. Just like that. Do the same. We'll do the same to all of them. So I'm just going out from the centre, just ever such a little bit. Circle around and out from the centre. And I'm going to go in um, with a yellow, again Stadler. Plus. And what I'm going to do is now, 
a bit further up from where I stopped with the orange and carry on around the edge there but I'm not filling all the flower I'm going to leave a little bit of white there I've got a, a lighter yellow as well now if you've only got an orange and a yellow and you haven't got two different yellows then you can just take it all the way up to the, the top of the petal if you want And I am going over the orange because the yellow is a lighter colour than the orange. It won't affect it too much. And it'll just soften the transition slightly. So I'm going over the orange and kind of following the pattern. So see where I've gone over that line and it goes up. I'm just taking the yellow off as well. Lovely, right now I'm going to go in with my lighter yellow, this one here, and I'm just going to outline the top of the petal. So I actually want to leave a bit of white. Never ever be scared of um, leaving white, that should be really effective. So as I'm going over the top, I am kind of going over the top of the black line and then slightly on the inside. So you just pick up that hint of yellow, the lighter yellow. So you can see the difference between where I've done it on that one. I've not done it on that one yet. You can just pick up that bit of yellow. And then with this lighter yellow, I'm just going to colour the centre of each one as well to colour it in. Done. Right, there's the flowers done. Now for the background, I think I'm going to do um, a similar one that I did on one of the other ones with the leaves. So I'm going to go with this kind of mid-brown kind of colour. Um, and I'm just going to outline... I'll just go on the very inside of the black line. Ooh. It's a bit of a hard angle because I've got the uh, I've got to keep the book static because I'm recording it. I can't move the book around, oh, which I normally would. Don't worry, I'll go over around that in a dark colour. See how I've done that there? Don't worry too much. We'll, we'll, we'll get creative and uh, cover that up. There's no mistakes, just um, opportunities to be more creative. Yeah, that's what we'll call them. An opportunity to be creative there around the edge. Right then, so I've gone around the edge in the, um, the dark brown. Um, then what I'm going to do a bit more carefully than that is just go around the edge, the, again, the outside edge of each flower and the leaves. And because this is such a dark colour, I'm going to try and be a bit careful and keep on the outside edge of the black lines. Because I don't want to go over it because it will, uh, you know, go over the... The colour I've used for the leaves and the flowers, if I go over it, the brown will be much darker. Okay, that's one. And then these little dots that Joanna has very kindly put in for us. I'm going to colour over each dot and then just do a few more of our own to blend in. And we'll do this one as well. You can angle the um, 
fine line up upwards a little bit if you really want to get the tip to get a finer um, a finer line a bit more control just go over the dots again that Joanna's give us and have a few more you can never have enough dots I've got a little fly that's just landed right by the phone, so I apologise if you hear buzzing. I'm not quite sure if you can hear my dog snoring. I've got my dog at my feet and he's snoring, so you might hear that as well. Lots of beautiful uh, sounds in this glorious studio that is my living room. <laughs> I'm, I've got a couple of days off work, so I'm able to do a bit more than I normally would. Okay, right, so we've got the dots around the flowers. Then, just to soften this brown line um, here, I'm just going to do a few dots right on the edge of the line, kind of go in a backwards and forwards motion. So you've got some dots actually on the line that I've drawn, and then some at the edge, just so it softens that line a little bit. So I'm kind of going backwards and forwards. Just very fine dots. Do a few more in the corners. There we go. Now I'm going to use a brush pen, one of my favourite ones. So this is the Ivory Colour Fabric Style Brush Ivory 103. That's easy with the numbers because it's written on the outside. And I'm just going to go actually over the brown all together, and it will kind of soften that brown a little bit. And then the white on those petals that you left will stand out even more now because we've now filled in all the white on the background behind them. There we go. That's that. Now, colour. Because I made this mistake here, I'm going to have to use quite a dark colour to go around the edge, I think. So we're going to do the hearts red, obviously. Um, maybe an orangey background maybe so should we go around the edge in like a blue maybe let's do blue yeah let's go blue let's go a bit of a lighter blue though i'm going to just grab this one from my tri plus pack let's start at the top here now this is so thin i'm literally just going to go and cut it in and hopefully Oh, it's still going to show a little bit, but never mind. With all the stamps I did on this page in World of Wonders, I actually went round um, for the gold part on all of them with um, my gold uniball pen, my Signo. I trusted I use, I have a gold one, a silver, a silver one that I use for all my pictures. For those that follow me wouldn't, wouldn't know I've mentioned that before. I'll just grab it now and show you. It's one of the best ones I've found. Blue and gold, so this is it. So it's, um, that's going to come up backwards, isn't it? It's Uniball. Oh, I'd hope if I did the right way around. Try that way. Oh, bring it in. There we go. Is it going to come into focus? No. Yeah, Uniball Signo. It's a gold pen. And there's a silver one as well. And the silver one often comes up white. It's actually pretty cool. Right, for this blue bit, 
I will use a lighter blue, so I'm just going to do the, the this mid blue that I'm putting in the very corner. A couple of dots out. And the same on this side. And I'll do the same for this bit here. That looks kind of like a water drop, doesn't it? I'm not sure what colour blue to do. I think we'll stick with the blue. Maybe go with a slightly darker blue for these outlines here. So this is like a royal blue. Because this is so dark, I'll do a few gold dots on this very end. I always add, um, well not always, but most of them add uh, uh, all the gold embellishments at the very end because they can smudge so if you add them at the end when you've finished the actual fine line apart it's sometimes a bit better. Let's do this blue on this top bit as well and I think with that lighter blue, again I might leave the back bit white because that actually looks Okay, doesn't really need another colour. Okay, let's take the oops, take the blue all the way across and then down right. I'll do the gold at the end. So the love hearts have got to be red. They have to be red. I hear you say they have to be red. So I'm going to go around the edge with a dark red. Oh, this is actually a um, Stablo one, number 50. I'm going to go around the edge of the a heart in the dark red. <laughs> And then I've just got a, a normal red, what I'll call a normal red in the Stadler Try Plus. And I'm just going to kind of colour on the left hand side with this. And then do the line around the inside there and that will give way the I get a nice pink I've got the Staler bright pink and colour over that and that just gives the effect of where a bit of light would hit the heart to make it look a bit more 3D and then for around the edge let's do Oh, pinks maybe? Shall we go pinks? Or shall we go red? Mm, let's go pink, shall we? Yeah, let's go pinks. So, I've just got a dark, kind of purpley pink and then a brighter pink. And we'll probably go in with that white pink again. So this is a like a purpley pink. And I'm just going to outline. all around the outside of this area oh my god this is so hard at an angle Probably get a ruler actually and try and use a ruler if you want to keep it super straight but 
doesn't need to be because it doesn't need to be because we're going to go in with some dots over where you've just done the line and blend out a bit and this will soften the line for the next color if you can hear my washing machine in the background as well. I've got my washing machine on. Apologies if you can hear that as well. I should have really um, thought about that a bit more and closed the door <laughs> to the laundry. Oh well. I think what I might do as well is go around these dots here. Should we go around the love hearts or not? I don't think so. Not in this dark colour. Okay, we'll leave that like that. Now go in with the um, brighter pink which is a sta uh, Stabilo and it's number 56 I'm actually going to go over I'm just colouring to the outside of the dots on this one but not right up to the heart so I'm going over the dots we've just created because it's a lighter pink I'm not going right up to the edge of the hearts because I'm going to get the lighter pink for that. But I'm colouring up a little bit more as we come away from the heart. So I'll go up a bit more there and then back down again. And then just like how I did with the other one, I'm going to go and soften the edge with some dots. So when I go in with the really light pink, it'll blend a bit better. Go around that circle there. There we go. Now, do we go in with light pink or do I just leave it like that? What do you think? Mm. I'll go in the light pink. So this is the really light pink, like the neon pink we used before. No, I'm just, I am going to colour right up to the edge now. Just going over the dots. I just love fine liners of the um, immediate solid, solid bright colour that they give to the paper. Without any pressing down, no pressure to the hurt your hands like pencils do sometimes. There we go. Now, after all that, nearly finished, I'm just going to get my gold gel pen that we talked about earlier and just add a little bit of gold on some places. I think just I'm going to add, definitely add some on this blue, and I'm just literally dotting very lightly. Move my hand in a slow movement as I go across. And I'm going to go across the top as well. And those gold dots kind of tie into the gold background. Um, and then I'm going to make those gold. And there. And I think I am, because of that mistake I made, I'm just going to do some gold dots on against this mid blue it won't show up as much but what i can do by doing this is put a gold dot right over that dark splodge like that to try and hide it a bit where i made the error lovely and i think we're done so that's one down we've got three more to go i'll do just three separate little videos because it's easy to upload